Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add three-digit numbers with regrouping. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, I do want to mention before we start that regrouping is also called carrying. So if you hear to regroup or to carry, they mean the same thing. Let's jump into number one, where we have 416 plus 379. Now to the right of that problem, I have both of those numbers represented by base 10 blocks. Those base 10 blocks are going to help us visualize what's going on within this problem and give us a better overall understanding of addition. So whenever we add whole numbers, we always start with the ones place. So we have six ones plus nine ones. Now six plus nine gives us 15 ones. We can't fit 15 into the ones place though. We can't fit a two digit number into one place. So what we're going to do is make a group of 10 out of the ones and regroup or carry it over to the tens place. So we have six ones here. And if we take four ones from down here, that gives us a total of 10 ones that we can regroup or carry over to the tens place. So we can make a stack of 10. Now, whatever we have left over in the ones place, that's what we put in the ones. So we have these five ones left. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's what we put in the ones place. Now we work our way left and we add our tens. So let's see how many tens we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine tens, which has a value of 90. Then we go to the hundreds. So we have four groups of 100 plus three groups of 100 or 400 plus 300. That's going to give us, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven groups of 100, which has a value of 700. So we have a seven in the hundreds place. And our final answer is going to be 795. Let's solve this to the left without the base 10 blocks as well and see if we get the same thing. Now remember, we start with the ones. So six ones plus nine ones gives us 15 ones. So we take the five from 15, the five in the ones place in 15, and put it in the ones place in our answer. We regroup or carry the one group of 10 from 15 to the tens place. Now we add our tens. So we have 110 plus 110 plus seven tens. So one plus one is two plus seven is nine. So we get a nine in the tens place. And that nine has a value of 90 because it's in the tens place. Then we do our hundreds. So 400 plus 300, or we can think of it as four plus three, which gives us seven and that's in the hundreds place, so it represents 700. And our final answer, 795. Let's do another one and move on to number two, where we have 254 plus 164. And we have the base 10 blocks for this one as well. Start with the ones. So four ones plus four ones gives us a total of eight ones. Now we don't have anything to regroup with the ones. We have a one digit number, the eight. We don't have any groups of 10 to regroup or carry over to the tens place. So we're done with the ones and ready to work our way to the left. And now we have the tens place. So we have five tens or 50 plus six tens or 60. Now five tens plus six tens gives us 11 tens. So we're going to need to regroup. We can't fit that two digit number into the tens place. 
we need to regroup 10 groups of 10 because 10 groups of 10 gives us one group of 100. So let's take 10 tens. Here we have five plus another five gives us 10 tens or 100. So we'll regroup those 10 tens over to the hundreds place and I'll draw a group of 100. Now whatever we have left, that's what will go in the tens and we have one group of 10 left. So a one goes in the tens place to represent that one group of 10. Now we have the hundreds. So we have the 200 from 254 plus the 100 from 164, but we can't forget about the regrouped 100. So we have one, two, three, four total hundreds, which has a value of 400. Our final answer, 418. Let's solve this to the left without the base 10 blocks as well. Start with the ones, four plus four, eight. Let's move to the tens now where we have five tens plus six tens. That gives us 11 tens. So we're going to need to regroup. So we put one here and then regroup or carry the other one. Now we add our hundreds. So one plus two plus one. One plus two is three plus one is four. So we get 418. Let's move on to numbers three and four and we're going to do these without base 10 blocks. Let's start with number three where we have 539 plus 229. Start with the ones. Nine plus nine is 18. So we'll take the eight from the ones place in 18 and that's going to be in the ones place in our answer. We need to regroup the one. Now we add our tens. So we have one ten plus three tens plus two tens. One plus three is four plus two is six. Then we end with our hundreds. So we have 500 plus 200 or five groups of 100 plus two groups of 100. Five plus two gives us a total of seven groups of 100, which has a value of 700. It's in the hundreds place. So our final answer, 768. And lastly, number four, we have 684 plus 276. Start with the ones where we have four plus six. That gives us 10. So we put the zero from 10 in the ones and regroup or carry the one. Let's add our tens. So one plus eight is nine plus seven gives us 16. So we'll put our six in the tens place and regroup our one. Now we add our hundreds. So one group of 100 plus six plus two. So one plus six is seven plus two is nine. So we have nine groups of 100 or 900. Our final answer, 960. So there you have it. There's how you add three digit numbers with regrouping. Make sure to check out the description for links to more addition videos. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.